dear student first of first of all we are going to elaborate our first topic that is health and the safety and aviation maintenance as you know that the aviation business is a very costly and a very risky kind of uh, uh, job here you are here many hundreds and hundreds of the peoples are on the risk of life if uh, there is no maintenance workshop in the skies so you need to maintain your aircraft on the ground in a very good way and you could maintain your aircraft on the ground in a very good way if you are healthy if you are psychologically healthy if you are mentally healthy if you are physically healthy at the same time the those who are maintaining the aircraft those are engineers are technicians they need to be healthy and uh, psychologically fit so that they could maintain their task in a very good way at the same time the pilots or the flyers who are flying the aircraft they need to be healthy as well now what are the health regulations these are regulations which are given in the civil aviation uh, health safety regulations these re regulations need to be met what are these regulations in these regulations uh, these regulations guides us that whether how and whether and how much alcoholic uh, drugs you need to take and whether you have not to take it whether you are not to take it or if you are taking any kind of medicines then whether you have to take it or not these all are regulations which are uh, elaborated by the civil aviation authority or the federal aviation authority which are which is applicable in your country or in your uh, region so for maintaining health and safety and aviation maintenance we all have to follow the safety regulations uh, provided by the authorities now there are certain kind of duties which are being imposed by others in health and safety regulation maintenance these are certain employers who are employing uh, who are doing jobs in the aviation maintenance organizations they are having certain duties uh, on their shoulders which they have to keep in mind and there are certain certain duties imposed by the civil aviation authority or any other authority to impose on the employees duties smoking fire arrangements housekeeping first aid supplies su supplies these all are related to the health and safety in the aviation maintenance here is an analysis this analysis brief us about the uh, different kind of accidents happening all around us in our uh, aviation maintenance in these maintenance accidents there is a big number which is uh, which is a shocking kind of number that is 25.5% accidents happens during the handling and lifting of goods and materials this is a very huge number we need if we are following uh, certain regulations and the safety measures we are taking certain measures we can minimize this 25% uh, accidents to a minimal level secondly 19.4% accidents are related to the machinery we are working with a sophisticated and a very dangerous machinery during the during maintaining our aircrafts uh, these can be hubbards these can be the uh, lifting jacks these can be the tractors these can be everything which is related to the uh, machines which is which comes under the machines they need to be used safely if you are not using it with a safe hands then these 19.4% accidents are happening due to the machines Uh, unsafe usage of the machines and the 15.9% uh, accidents are happening due to the falling from the high position flying from the heights you know that the if you are working on the boeing 777 it is it's very high aircraft and if you fall from that aircraft it could be it could result a fatal injury to you so 15.9% uh, percent uh, accidents are happening due to the falling from the heights same goes to the stepping on a striking against an object and struck by falling object transport related accidents use of hand tools technicians use the tech, uh, hand tools if if they are not using the uh, if they are not using their hand tools in a good way then that could be a very fatal kind of things for them and some other reasons of accidents could be also could also be there these are the 9% this can be electric shot or etc for maintaining safety 
uh, organization need to produce certain uh, personal protective equipment and the first aid supplies to maintain the aviation maintenance safety. So what are these personal protective equipment? Students, these all are the personal protective equipment which are mandatory and working in the aircraft or working in the aviation maintenance. These can be the helmets, these can be the uh, goggles, these can be the, the gloves, different kind of gloves, these can be the different kind of the mask which protect you from, the in a, from inhaling uh, toxic kind of uh, vacuums. Boots are there, there are certain ear protecting, ear protecting protections, ear protections and for first aid delivery we are there are certain regulations with according to these regulations we should maintain our first aid kit aviation first aid kit these first aviation first aid kit need to be maintained another brilliant things which you have to maintain during your aircraft operation during your maintenance maintenance operation this is your hangar safety in these two pictures in these two pictures you need to uh, you need to emphasize this then there are many things which are around an aircraft uh, there are two aircraft which are being uh, parked in a very close vicinity very close to each other they can strike with someone can fall from them some uh, some goods can strike with the other goods some uh, extra things can the, the if you are not house making your um, hangar in a in a proper manner, in a safe manner, then that could be a very fatal thing for for your aircraft as well as for your personal safety as well. Now, uh, now here in this picture, you 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 can see that many people are working, many equipments are there. What kinds of equipment are there in the uh, the in the in a, in a hangar? You need to have a bowser. You need to have a for f bowsers for fu refueling. You need to have a power operated. Um, external power sources you need to manage different equipment you need to uh, have the ground sport equipment need to be there there are hundreds of ground sport equipment which are being parked in the um, hangars to provide uh, to provide a sport for maintaining the aircraft so maintaining maintaining a hangar safety you need to follow certain rules for this purpose we use the play cards we use the markings we use different kind of signs we use uh, different techniques to and there should be certain technical orders which could guide us towards working in a for working in a hangar in a safe manner so we need to follow